Hey, and what's going on, everybody? My name is Robert Jamison. I'm coming to you live from downtown, beautiful Los Angeles, California. I wanted to introduce myself and provide some important information regarding my new upcoming feature film titled Surviving Tough Times, directed by Bernard Eatman at Urban Artist Film Production. I also wanted to share light and introduce my new musical history play production directed by Mr. Anthony Killip from the Tyler Perry Why Did I Get Married production. I come straight out of the heart of Midtown in a low-income housing community in Lamont Terrace and in a small city called Memphis. In 2012, after the passing of my mother, I up to relocated to this gigantic city, beautiful Los Angeles, California, known best by most as the City of Angels. This is where I was forced to live and survive from Little Rock Bottom. And this is where I left that to the fullest without any regrets. That's where I learned the most. I can say now, I have experienced something to offer. With so many types of offers coming from all kinds of people, I certainly could have been ruined for the rest of my life, however. It is through these struggling experiences that will allow me to acknowledge that God had never left or forsaken me. And as the old folks say, somebody was praying for me. Everything that my mother tried teaching me in my youth days was indeed put to the test in the Tennessee. Boy, be on your best behavior because someone's always watching you. And Robert, ever eye that shut, baby? They are not asleep. This is so very true, and I thought my mother was trying to scare me straight, which most of the times she did. And after she left me in 2012, only relief I can imagine to have was to reflect back on the good times, the good days, and where I come from. And yes, I am a proud native of Memphis, Tennessee, from the Lamar Terrace Housing Projects in Midtown Memphis, Tennessee. And to shed light, to bring back a visual past and have it viewed by the world, <clears throat> it is significant for me. <clears throat> I think it's a positive thing to do, which I hope that it will shed light on a lot of social issues regarding homelessness, mental illness, domestic violence, child abuse, and healthcare issues. Because my mother, she died with lung cancer. And like I said, when I moved to Los Angeles, California, I hit rock bottom. It left me in a homeless situation. For the past two and a half decades, <clears throat> I have dedicated my life to healthcare. I worked surgery for 20 plus years. And I'm now employed through Alternative Healthcare here in Los Angeles, California. And I also have been appointed the Director of Operation for the Sam McGill Foundation, downtown Los Angeles, California. <clears throat> and for the past five years, I have deemed, been deemed a Hollywood actor and have performed professionally in several musical hit stage plays. I have also appeared on approximately 20 to 30 Hollywood big budget feature films. I also co-starred in the new musical hit stage play, The Truth, written and directed by actress, author, producer, Tamika Coney. I've also starred, co-starred in three feature films, one web series, by Deontay Bolden, such as The Price of Fame, 
and pride come before the fall and wicked the web series that should be coming to you this year which is all three is in post-production I'm also the owner and founder of RJ's production and entertainment I coordinate audience to take the live TV show such as Dr. Ken, the two broke girls, odd couples, disjointed, superior donut, one day at a time, and a host of other TV shows. I don't take this life for granted because where I come from, many critics will say, I'm not supposed to be in the position I that I am right to this day. But what I would like to say to you, I beg the difference. Because through God, all things are possible. And like I said, life had knocked me down a few times or another. And the sadness that I experienced when I lost my mother and my family. And the failure that I had in my life is when I depended on man. And they fail you every time. And the truth to the matter is, after all that I have been through, and when I walk that road of betrayal, one thing comes to mind. It's because I solely depend on God. I forgive you, and I forgive anyone that I, that I think that crossed me betrayed me and I want you to know that I still love you because I learned from my mistakes and trust me when I depended on you and you let me down it taught me a valuable lesson but at the end of the day I'm not bitter I'm better So, when I wrote this movie, Surviving Tough Times, it wasn't just about me. It dealt with a lot of social issues in the community. You know, see, I come from a domestic violent family. I watched my stepfather assault my mother almost on a daily basis. I have experienced child abuse too, because he was a drug addict and when he didn't beat on my mother I was the other object to beat on a kid and what I can say about those issues it was devastating but at the same time it made me become who I am right to this day because as a child around six, seven, eight, and nine years old. When I saw him assault my mother, I did what a typical kid would do, and that's try to protect the parents, and especially the mom. I'm not gonna tell you I didn't get knocked on my ass a couple of times, because I did. But I tell you, that was my mother. And I did everything in my power as a kid to try and protect her. So let me tell you what this man did to me. I got a beating almost every freaking day in that relationship because he was my stepfather. And I was more than just spanked. I was abused. But right to this day, I'm hard as a train wreck. So... This movie, Surviving a Tough Time, is going to be one feature film. And I pray that you will support me with this. Including my mutual hit stage play, I Survived the Storm. Because not just me, a lot of you guys have been through a storm. 
and this musical is going to shed light on a lot of social issues that goes around in the community. And of course, I wanted to display and, and uh, provide some resources. So when I wrote these two productions, and like I said before, they're not just about me. It's to empower the powerless and hopefully to motivate you guys. It also reflects on the days, gangs, violence, and teenagers. And yes, it, it also raised awareness for mental illness. Because if you go downtown Skid Row and you see the environment and all the homeless people that suffer from mental illness, somebody have to send a message and why not me? I'm now affiliated with the American Council Society as a national partner. I travel to the United States raising awareness for breast cancer and preventive care for cancer. I'm also affiliated with the Sam McGill Foundation, which they have a phenomenal diabetes prevention and treatment program, education, free counseling. I'm also affiliated with the American Diabetes Association. And supporting these organizations means a lot to me because my mother-in-law, she passed with diabetes. Uh, my mother, she died with stage for lung cancer. My granddad died with colon cancer. My father died with esophageal cancer. Uh, of course, cancer is significant, I mean. And I think uh, just adopting these um, foundations to send a message and tell the world, don't ignore the symptom. Cancer kills. Do you know your ABCs? Diabetic, diabetes is a silent killer. Heart disease, a silent killer. So yes, support me because I'm on a mission. And together, we can make it a difference in our community. Thank you for listening to me. Peace, and I'm out.